The movie begins with a girl named Paige waking up immediately doing makeup and then going live online and talking to her followers. She's an influencer and begins answering queries and providing beauty advice to her fans after a while she gets red for school and steps out of her cool pink room into a narrow hallway in regular looking house. She chats briefly with her mom who talks about working long hours at the hospital just to cover the bills page it then excitedly opens her mail and discovers a $3,000 check from a brand she endorses she wants to use it to buy more branded shoes but her mother advises her to save some money for college we then witness how influence her career and brand endorsements bring her so much money to keep up appearances she pretends to live the scene in a fancy house by hanging a posh apartment building and having friends pick her up later her best friends Alden and Quinn come in convertible and they all had to surprise Paget's boyfriend Jordan who is shooting a music video the scene shifts to two siblings Brynna and Cameron riding in a car on their way to school Cam is a strange and unpopular student that no one knows anything about even his sister Brynn is embarrassed to be seen with him in school so she mostly avoids him his only friend is a girl named Nisha who is also a miss fit like him and they get along while Brynna is a great admirer of Jordan's music so Cam makes fun of her by calling the music lame and unreal the scene shifts back Paget who arrives at Jordan's shooting location she's even baked a cake for him the incident and before entering Jordan's trailer she asks Alden to live stream the event on TikTok so that her followers can see it when she walks in she is shocked see him kissing one of the back dancers the girl immediately apologizes apologizes to Paige and shakes her hand stating that she is a big fan pageant becomes enraged and starts throwing cake having a major meltdown in front of her millions of fans she yells at him that they're done and Alden grabs her attention and points out that she's still alive horrified Paige looks at the phone revealing tear stained face smudged mascara and runny nose she then forcefully snatches the phone from Alden's hands and ends the lip stream the following day Paige feeds the aftermath distressed and doesn't want to leave room her mother then arrives and informs her that breakups are complicated but things will get better page it responds that it's not just the breakup but also being humiliated in front of all of fans just then Quinn calls to check on page it claims she's okay and is relieved that Jordan was exposed and that everyone now hates him however Quinn urges her to log into TikTok immediately to see what's going on Pageant then goes online and finds she is becoming viral for the wrong reasons. A big snot bubble was coming out of her nose when she was crying now she's known as Bubble Girl the viral video has turned her into a meme subject Rob her of her perfect girl image she then receives a phone call from Jessica CEO of the beauty product company that sponsors Paget Jessica then ends the contract with Paget because of the embarrassing situation and tells her that they can work again in future when things settle down meanwhile at school school Quinn and Alden are discussing the incident with Alden claiming that Paget had it coming Quinn is surprised and asks if she means Paget deserved what what happened Alden clarifies that she didn't mean that but with her high GPA attractive boyfriend and corp sponsor something had to give a venture when Paget arrives at school everyone continues to mock her while Jordan gains more attention and fans Paget and her friends remember the time when Jordan was an overweight weird guy with bad hair pageant claims that makeovers are her special and that she transformed Jordan into the man he is today her friends then ask why she doesn't create another Jordan. Just then there is an announcement about the upcoming prom king and queen contest. Paget gets the idea of giving a makeover to an unpopular guy and making him prom king. It will both prove to her that she still has talent and will also annoy. Jordan Alden then bets her that she won't be able to pull it off and prom king. Three of them go out and find the perfect guy for this project. Later they come across Cam who is photographing a garbage can and claims
claiming that he finds a deep when searches him online and only gets a single tweet from two years ago that says no. He is strange, egotistical and antisocial and is bullied by Jordan, making him the ideal candidate for their bet. The following day Paget approaches Cameron and requests his help photographing the fundraising event. However he refuses to help her once she mentions the donation is for the prom event which Cameron considers a waste. Time Brynn then apologizes for his brother's behavior and says that he despises all students. During their talk Paget discovers that Cameron volunteers at a horse stable during his free time so the next day she shows up at the stable and asks him for horseback riding lessons she then helps him in cleaning the stable after which he teaches him how to ride a horse he then notices that she shoots pictures every minute and makes fun of her later when Paget tries to dismount the two fall to the ground and laugh together the next day at school Paget thanks Cameron for the riding lesson she then invites both Cameron and Nisha to karaoke party Cameron is initial karaoke reluctant but Nisha's curiosity about the event convinces him to give it shot at the party both Cameron and Nisha feel like they don't quite fit in Pager then takes her turn at karaoke and sings beautifully but then Jordan shows up at the party with a girl he had cheated on this causes Pager to freeze and she becomes extremely anxious to perform Cameron who has been admiring Pager's singing rushes in to help her avoid more embarrassment the two then put on fantastic performance to which everyone applauds later Cameron offers to give the next morning Pager to ride home on his truck Pager then intentionally leaves her purse behind as an excuse to visit him again the next morning Brynn bombards Cam with questions about him and Pager causing him to feel nervous meanwhile Pager receives a call from Jessica revealing that her duet video with Cameron has gone viral Jessica then asks about the guy in the video page it replies that is her next makiover project aiming to make him even more pop than jordan impressed jessica informs her that if she succeeds the brand endorsement will be hers at cameron's house brynn shows him the viral duet video causing him to flush with embarrassment just then page it calls brynn and mentions she left something cameron's car cameron tries to get brynn to say no but brin invites her over page it arrives and asks Cameron if they may go for another writing lesson to which he reluctantly agrees. During the writing lesson Paget and Paget meets Cameron. Cameron start to connect on a deep level. Paget tells him that she was looking forward to graduating from high school like him but now that she has lost her sponsorship she's unsure what to do with herself. Cameron admits that it sucks and shares his desire to travel the world and just take pictures. He also teases her for constantly capturing pictures of herself for her fans to which she responds that at least she doesn't take dozens of pictures that no one will ever see he then offers to show her what he does and they arrive at an old but functional train station Cameron does street photography there and Paget has never been to a place like this before but she is fascinated later as they are having coffee Paget asks him why he lives with his gran he then informs her that his father preferred to live in Sweden after their mother died in a car accident he shares that the camera he uses was once his mother's hearing this page it also opens up talking about her parents divorce and how hard her mother works as a nurse to provide for her later she invites him Aiden's birthday party which is going to be great Gatsby themed Cameron accepts the invitation asking if he can bring few friends along to which pageant agrees in the next scene page it Cam Nisha and Brynn go shopping for the party's outfits then Paget gives Cam a makiover and dramatically alters him. She cuts his hair and dresses him suit and now it's very obvious that Paget fancies him. They then all go to Aiden's party where everyone is taken aback by Cameron's new appearance. George is also attending the party and it turns out that he's been dumped by his girlfriend when he runs across Paget. He wants to reconcile with her but she rejects him and leaves Jordan then sets his sights on Brynn and tries tries to score with her she likes him as well but as he tries to force himself on her she leaves and runs into her brother in the crowd she then informs him of what just happened Cameron becomes enraged and confronts Jordan about it after that two fight and Cameron humiliates Jordan in front of everyone Jordan then seeks his revenge on Cameron by talking
tossing his precious camera into the swimming pool camera and runs off and then leaves the party with his camera. Paget runs after him and apologizes for Jordan's behavior. Cameron then asks Paget why she's suddenly so interested in him to which she has no answer that Paget live stream. Night Paget is sitting in a room removing her makeup. She then begins a live stream in which she discusses how she is always focusing on looks and attitude but it is more important to see who you surround yourself with. Just then she's interrupted by a text message from Jessica who informs her that she saw the viral videos from Alden's party and that she'll be calling her shortly to talk about their sponsorship the next day at school. Cameron finds himself at the center attention due to the viral video of his fight with Jordan. Cameron is initially put off by the idea that this has made him a contender for the prom king but is excited when he realizes it would mean pissing off. Jordan later at school pager unexpectedly encounters Jordan and Alden who are now a couple. She realizes that Alden has been after school sabotaging her since the breakup as she left the live stream running. Humiliate her Alden also reveals that she and Quinn know that Paget is poor but never said it out of pity late. While Paget and Quinn are talking, Cameron arrives and apologizes for his behavior last night after school. He takes Paget to a dark room where he keeps his photographs and the two kiss each other later after learning that Paget kissed Cameron Bryn advises him to ask her to prom. Cameron agrees and makes a grand gesture to invite Pageant to prom but just then Alden appears and reveals her bet with Paget to take loser and transform him into the prom king. Hearing this Cameron is devastated and he believes she was only using for that Paget tries to explain but Cameron is so enraged that he curses and rushes away. Days later on the evening of the prom, prom Paget has a heartfelt conversation. Her mom before heading to the event alone she also talks with Bryn who quite upset with her despite the tension. Paget admits her feelings for Cameron and asks Bryn for help in getting him to the prom later. Bryn finds Cameron work and shares how he's been returning to his true self while spending time with Paget. She tells him that they lost their mother and urges him not to lose. Paget as well at the prom. Paget and prom speech. Jordan are crowned prom queen and king. In her speech Paget opens up about her true self admitting that her social media persona is fake she even shows them their real house and the fact that her mother works as a nurse she reveals that she's been pretending to be someone she's not and decides to give up her crown after this Alden believes she's now prom queen but the principal reveals that she lost by a lot and that another student called Celeste is the actual new prom queen outside the prom pageant receives a text from Cameron saying he loved her speech he then rides up on horse to see how the two apologize to each other and they share a heartfelt kiss the scene then shifts to a few months later as Paige broadcasts from Portugal with Cameron they are traveling around the world together this summer. A part of Paige's punishment for lose the bet they both get loser tattoos.